the third quarter, and now we are in the fourth quarter of our life. And all of us really looking at you now, we're actually in the fourth quarter. <laughs> the fourth quarter is the most important quarter of all our lives. 60 going to 150. That way. You must be. And you know, it's that quarter where you start looking at life and, wow, I like the old classic music. I like the old movies. I fall asleep on the couch instead of the bed. You know what I mean? I used... Yes, I do that. <laughs> I used the word when and what more than ever. And now, you know, she is now in the fourth quarter. But it's going to be a glorious quarter. A beautiful quarter. Because she has now just decided life begins at six. Wow! And you know, over the years, Glendo has had, apart of all the challenges, she has stood by everybody that we know in the family. She could be concerned about your daughter, your grandchild. She would be concerned about the neighbor. She would be concerned whether the doctor has got a nurse. <laughs> you would be. She is such a yeah, concerning yeah. person. And you know what? If you have a problem, just write it down. Send it to me. I will send it to Glenn. <laughs> if you want cash, no problem. No problem. She'll get it for you. And that is why we love Glendo. And you know what? Just to bring us together tonight is such a fabulous gesture. And you may be thinking she's only a millionaire. But she's a billionaire. She's even bigger than a billionaire because she's got us as a family. And we appreciate Give it a big hand. <laughs> and Grandpa, you know what was so good? As I came in, everybody came to me and said, how much can we give Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, look, don't be extravagant. 